media has pretty much ignored Zeitgeist. It's never been reported on, hasn't come up at all in the 6pm news, nothing. And they're huge controversial claims that the film is making. Yeah. Ignore it and it'll go away. Don't pay it any attention. That, that's the ultimate thing. If you, if, I think what you will have is you will have movements that will create civil unrest. But they will do that, the, 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 the governing power of the world will create that through the financial crisis that they've done because it's a man-made it's a man-made thing. The second, the second that they decide to hit the delete button and money becomes irrelevant and it's electronic, um, you won't be able to work cash in hand. You will be totally enslaved and that will cause society to go out into the streets and riot because their money's worthless, they won't have food. That's when they'll implement the. That's when they'll militarise the, the police. So they don't need movements like this. This is. This is the. This will be the aftermath of the civil unrest. This won't cause the civil unrest. The financial crisis has been put into place so that within a very short period of time, it will. If you have a crisis, it's order out of chaos. That that's the order. That's not the chaos. That's the order. Well, what's the chaos going to be? We're about to find out, I think. I think we're about to find out. 800,000 Americans a month are becoming unemployed. That's chaos. They're building FEMA camps. It's chaos. They'll that's not chaos. So they'll create it. That's why it's not in the mainstream. People will just look at it as entertainment. It's hypnotism. No, they'll create it where it hurts, in your pocket. They'll end the room and turn it digital. So I think that's what it is. You have an answer. How many people will be left around to do that because if you have hundreds of thousands of pe people out on the street, I can't afford food, my money is worth nothing. What will you do? You will go and loot. You go and loot and murder, and you will. Then there's your martial law. It's there. We're that far away. We're a whisker away. So you have to have a paradigm shift. Where am I going to be standing when it goes? When the bubble bursts and you're inflating, where am I going to stand? I'm going to stand on the inside or the outside? This is the opportunity for people to stand on the outside. Standing on the inside when it, when it goes, you won't be able to get out. It will be digital martial law. It's done money for martial law. If you're on the outside and you're, and you're sustaining yourself, you'll be alright. And how many will it be? Georgia Guidestones tell us there's going to be about 500 million people. That's the depopulation program, 500 million people. Right? That's a fairly small percentage of the population. You've got a, it's a non participation. So it won't, you won't find it, you won't find it on the mainstream. It won't have the desired effect. So that's why I don't think you'll find it. more in the education systems with people becoming more part of the curriculum and not
not so much a focus on his stock standard subjects of education, maths and more creating an industrial society and more kind of yeah. pushing it towards the consciousness of growing as a human being or? Absolutely. And yeah. I mean the subjects I teach at university are learning and creativity, education and transformation. Um, I'm doing a, last year I did a subject called uh, Understanding and Working with Communities as a Masters in Social Ecology subject. This year I'm doing Global Citizenship as a Masters in Social Ecology subject. So yeah, I mean, what social ecology is about is actually introducing that and in a strange way because of government funding it's become part of the education faculty at the University of Western Sydney. Other bits have gone into health and biomedical science. So I'm working in those areas and other social ecologists like myself. And yeah, it's, it's about saying, look, you know, what you get at school at the moment is a very limited education because the creativity is usually killed by about year four. Because I also do another program called Cooling Conflicts, which is using drama for conflict and then peer teaching. And, you know, I'm working with both high school and primary